All right, guys, we are running dumb rich. So we're going to look around, look at my fuel pressure and everything like that, um, test things, a la B, B is for build. Same, kind of the same issue he was having, except mine's not uh, the same issue he's having. It's just, okay, I don't know. I'll explain in just a second. All right, so let's talk for a second. My car is running stupid rich. I got about 180 something miles to the tank in the last tank I ran through this thing. I was driving earlier and I could just smell the amount of gas to the point where it's damn near unsafe to ride around in this car with the windows up, which is why part of why I always have the windows down, that and because my AC doesn't work right now. But anyway, um, if you watch the YouTube channel Beers for Build, recently he was having an issue with his car running stupid rich as well. But his problem was because of too much back pressure on the fuel rail because of the way his pump was set up. Now I know that's not my issue um, because I'm seeing optimal, you know, um, fuel pressures and stuff like that. He was getting like 92 pounds of uh, fuel pressure, which is freaking insane. You never want to run that much fuel pressure because that's damn near unsafe. If like something were to happen on the fuel rail, uh, that would just that would be absolutely crazy. Uh, anyway, um, the optimal fuel pressure for this car is about uh, with vacuum it's somewhere in the area of 35 to 38 psi without vacuum it's somewhere around 42 psi or so so we're gonna get in here and test and see what I'm running at right now I actually haven't really checked mine in a few weeks and um, so yeah we're gonna go look at that right now okay so this is what we're reading right now Right now, we're seeing a, a smidge over 40 PSI uh, with vacuum. So I'm gonna unplug vacuum and we're gonna see what we're running at. Okay, so I undid the vacuum and it's actually not really reading anything higher. We're still a little bit too high. But uh, with vacuum off, we're at like 42 or 43 pounds. But with vacuum on, we're seeing too much fuel pressure. So I'm going to adjust that right now and see what happens. Okay, so we have adjusted the fuel pressure. It's holding at about 38 pounds with vacuum. So um, I'm not really sure why the vacuum rose, or not vacuum, uh, why the fuel pressure rose, but um, it was a little bit, actually a good five or six pounds higher than what it needed to be. So anyway, this is what we're reading now. All right, everybody, so we're going to run this for a little while and uh, see what happens. So uh, I guess this will be that. This is just going to be a quick update video. Uh, I wanted to show the fuel pressure problem we're having and just be transparent with you guys because I, uh, aside from trying to provide content for other people, I want to use the YouTube channel as kind of like a log for the things I've done to the car and uh, things that have happened to the car along the way. So, All right, people, driving the car now. Um, going to see if the fuel pressure made any noticeable difference uh, one thing that I can say right now is just sitting in the car with the windows up doesn't smell as bad of gas but uh, that might just be because I just cranked it up but uh, anyway gonna take it down the road see what it does see how it feels and go from there okay so some good news I think maybe um, I definitely smell a lot less gas while I'm driving um, I dropped the fuel pressure by I think seven or so PSI and uh, so I can't really notice a difference in the drivability the throttle response is the same and um, I'm not really sure on the gauge because I've only gone probably 10 miles on the trip but uh, the car runs fine and it smells a little bit less gassy and exhaust you know fumes are not as bad so uh, here's hoping that maybe uh, maybe I fixed it, but I'm kicking myself for not having a wide band. Um, I really need one, and uh, it's definitely going to be one of the things that I buy uh, as the, the turbo swap happens. So uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely get a wide band, and so that way I have a lot better, you know, job and a lot easier time diagnosing problems like this. So, anyways, all right, guys. So we may have a problem maybe um my motor's making a slight like tapping or ticking noise i'm not really sure i'll show you guys okay so listen closely right now
I'm not sure if you can hear that, but you can definitely hear it more off when it's coming down off throttle. So listen to this. It sounds almost like uh, somebody stuck a baseball card or something like that in the uh, the spoke of a bicycle tire or something like that, or like something's tapping against a fan or something. It's definitely coming from the motor, or maybe the intake manifold. Um, I don't really know, and it's kind of bugging me out. Uh, I don't have a check engine light on or anything like that, but um, you can't hear it inside the car either. You can only hear it from the engine bay. I don't know if it's common or if it's usual or not. I'm gonna Google it whenever I get inside. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what it could be. And uh, just let me know if that's normal or common. But uh, anyway, this is gonna be definitely where I end the video. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe for more. Um, give the video a thumbs up, share the videos. Uh, stay tuned for more content, guys. Got some stuff coming on the way. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.